maybe the better question, the more important question is, what would you do with that extra time? If you lived longer, how would you use those extra years? There's some pretty extraordinary research about the impact of walking on lifespan, on longevity. And I'm going to get to that in just a moment. If you're brand new to this channel, hi, I'm Dave. I'm not a doctor, not a licensed personal trainer. This video is not meant as anything specific in terms of medical advice or even exercise advice for you. Before beginning any exercise program, please talk to your professional. My name is Dave. I have been passionate about walking for fitness for more than 10 years. So passionate, in fact, I began a daily podcast, Walking as Fitness, to help encourage and motivate others to begin walking every day, consistently and intentionally. So let's talk about longevity. For many, many years, that idea, living longer, felt very abstract to me. But the older I get, the less abstract it feels and the more real it feels. I have seven grandchildren with two more on the way, in fact, imminently. In fact, by the time you watch this video, it might be nine grandchildren. They range in age from newborn to 10 years old. So the numbers indicate that I have a life expectancy of 20 plus years. So over the next 20 plus years, those grandchildren are going to be entering young adulthood. They're gonna grow up. They're gonna choose the path they're going to follow, the direction their life is going to take, the careers they're going to pursue. Perhaps they'll get married, begin a family of their own, have children, my great-grandchildren. So the next 20 plus years no longer feels abstract. It feels real. And so when we're talking about life expectancy and living longer, that no longer feels like, a, okay, that would be nice. That actually now feels like, yes, please, how? <laughs> so here's the research from the American Heart Association. And this involved thousands, thousands of people. And they started with a baseline of 4,000 steps, 4,000 steps every single day. On average, this is what we get, just moving around, not even thinking about it. Walking from the bedroom to the bathroom, walking from the house to the car, the car to work, walking through the stores we're shopping. Without thinking about it, most of us get about 4,000 steps a day. So as a baseline, they want to determine if you walked more than that, what impact would that have on life expectancy? And the numbers are extraordinary. So if you walk an extra 1,500 steps a day, that's essentially a 15 minute walk every single day. You are lowering your chance of an early death from all causes by 49%. I mean, that's amazing. If you walk 7,400 steps a day, so that's an extra 3,400 a day, that would work out to about a half hour walk every single day. If you do that, you're lowering your risk of an early death by 55%. Now, of course, there are no guarantees. There are no guarantees that if you take this 15 minute walk every single day, that you're going to get all the years that are expected and then maybe some bonus years, some extra years. There's no guarantee, but I love the option of investing in my future, of investing in lifespan, in living long, so I can see my grandchildren grow up, so I can see the adults that they're going to be, so I can spend more time with the people I love and pursuing the activities that I enjoy. And this isn't simply about quantity, the number of years. It's also about quality. Because again, when we talk about death, it's not an abstract concept. We die from real causes. And many of these causes are sickness, disease, illness. And so as we are investing in our fitness, investing in our health and well-being, what we're really doing 
is lowering the chances of getting these bad diseases, which means less time at the doctor, less time in the hospital, less time fighting for health and well-being. And so it's not just the quantity of years, it's also the quality of years. And it's not just illness. When you are, when I am physically fit and stronger, it also reduces the risk of accidents. So accidental death as well. All from a daily 15 minute walk. And that drops your possibility, your risk of dying early by 49%. I mean, that's pretty extraordinary. Here's the thing. If you are watching this and you're thinking about the importance of pursuing fitness, again, talk to your doctor to make sure that it is safe for you. I always recommend that people start small. We hear the number 10,000 thrown around quite a bit. I'm gonna get 10,000 steps. That's really a bad place to start. What I recommend is a daily 10 minute walk. Make a commitment to walk every day for 10 minutes. As your fitness capacity grows and you build some fitness momentum, you can begin to go longer, you can begin to go faster and even increase those health benefits and potentially long-term benefits. This is why I started the podcast, Walking is Fitness. It's a daily 10 minute podcast that provides you with some added motivation to get out and walk consistently, intentionally. And to make it fun, each episode is recorded while I'm out walking too. So I'm not in a studio going, you should walk. No, we're walking together. Now, easy to find the podcast. You have a podcast app on your phone. Tap in Walking is Fitness. And if you're more of a visual person and you recognize things by the way they look and you're wondering, so what does this podcast look like when it shows up in my app? Well, it looks like this. <laughs>